Hi, this is Russ Anderson. This tutorial is going to show the second, more complex lens distortion workflow. What this workflow is about is letting you add effects, typically 3D CGI effects, into a distorted shot while still delivering a distorted image as the final result. With this kind of workflow, you'll typically render effects in Max or Maya or Lightwave or whatever against black and then you'll be compositing those effects after render back into the original shot. So ultimately this workflow produces the highest quality results because you're compositing back into the original shot and there's no multiple rewarping to accommodate distortion. But side effect of course things a little more complicated. But uh, with the aid of some new facilities here, we make it reasonably straightforward here in Synthize. So I've got a test shot, and I hope you've watched the first of the lens workflow tutorials already. Same basic shot. I'm going to solve the shot and just go directly to turn on the uh, distortion. So that now we have a distortion value that's been calculated and we've got these images and what we're going to do is now produce a modified kind of image for this workflow. So I'm going to bring up the lens uh, workflow panel and select the redistorted option. So we're going to be redistorting the final results to match the original. And when I select that you'll see that something else happens to the image uh, rather than before. Now I've got an image that does have black backgrounds around the edge. And in fact, the image has been padded up all the way around the interior and the distortion you know, has been removed, but now I still have all of the original pixels from the image uh, still available. So now I can go save this image away and again this is going to be the image that I work with for doing tracking for using you know for exporting from here into the Max Maya Lightwave C4D whatever um, and I'm going to be generating those effects against a somewhat larger image and in fact, if we go and look at the dimensions, uh, this image is now 1928 by 1084. So it's only had to get a little bit larger, but that extra space is what's going to let us play this particular game. And the kind of adjustments that have been made here, I'll point out, also have the effect of keeping the overall aspect ratio of the image the same. So that makes life a little simpler as well. So once I've gone and rendered new images that match this, here in Synthize what I'm going to do is change the images, but here instead of changing back to the image, really I, I'm going to say that I want to take my rendered effects and I'm going to re-distort the rendered effects so that now that they match the original image. Now you may need to think about what I've got going on here. I just took those padded images that have the border around the edge and I told the Synthize image processor to undo what it did to those originally to produce that image. And the result is now back to the same original image. So I, I've done that here just to the actual images themselves so you can see what's happening. But normally what I'd be doing is taking my rendered effect that matches that somewhat larger image and now reapplying the distortion that matches the original plates to produce a modified version of that effect. And now I rendered that modified version which as you can see matches 
the original here. It's it's really just the same as the original. Um, and now when I render this version out, again using the save sequence button, I get something that I can composite with the original footage and it's all going to match back up. So it's, it's a more complex workflow. You might have to think about it for a second to get your head around it, but ultimately it can produce the highest underlying image quality because there's less resampling of the images along the way. Your effects will get resampled once. The original image will get resampled to produce that modified image, but that modified image isn't part of the final product, only the original unresampled images. So hope hope this helps. Take it.